now for the Paul Report with Brett Levengood and Blake Jarvis. Good morning, ONJ, and welcome to the Paul Report. Quick reminder, make sure you tweet at BeGoods32 during all Thursday lunches for suggestions. And you can follow at Blarvis for live chat with us during the show. Also, make sure you toss up the hashtag Paul Report. Good hashtag. Here's the news. ONJ, we are in the midst of a super serious quest to find a new superintendent. We are currently without one, and it feels as awkward as running into a homeless guy on your way to a coin star. I mean, that is all spare change. But it looks like since the last two ended up being a werewolf and a guy with a bum leg and crazy eye, it looks like we're headed back to good old Myra. It's a Harry Potter reference. Last week was Thanksgiving, and along with that special day comes the dreaded sleep-inducing molecule tryptophan. It's found in Turkey, and new research shows that... All right. Brett, Brett, we got a trip fan. You're super hilarious. Uh, we have news to do. Uh, Blake, just read the stories. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, here's my hashtag. Follow me on Twitter. Matt. All right, Blake, here's your chance. Make Brian Williams regret not calling you back. Friends of the Arts is getting ready for the holidays with a holiday house tour occurring next weekend. They will be hosting a tour of various decorated homes in our area for anyone to view and enjoy. The maps for said tour can be bought in the District Administration Building, High School, Middle School, All Elementary Centers, Agway Home and Garden Center, Coventry Tea Room, Ludwig's Corner Hardware, Claire's Family Restaurant, Twin Valley Family Fitness, and on the morning of the tour itself. The tour starts at the Coventry UMC on Saturday, December 10th. Reception starts from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., with the tour taking place from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's no Pink Floyd laser light show, but it's the next best thing. All right, Brett, uh, uh, how's he looking, guys? No, no. I don't, I don't he, he's dead? He's wh what? But I'm not I'm not ready to leave him. He can't be dead. He's no. Don't leave me, Brett. We here at the PowerPoint know that nothing gets you going like the humiliation of others, so why not watch the teachers and staff of O and J Roberts perform for our amusement at the faculty talent show? On Thursday, December 15th in the high school auditorium, some of your favorite educators will be veritable dancing monkeys in hopes to benefit the National Honor Society and the Kelsey Kramer Scholarship Fund. Such acts include Mr. Fox, your three favorite principals, the math department, and Mrs. Markipole. Tickets can be purchased starting Monday, December 12th during lunches for $3 and at the door for $5. If that wasn't worth it, there are free snacks. Worth it. In other news, uh, oh my goodness. Did you eat too much Brett, turkey? I'm, I don't, I'm gonna, uh, I hope I'm listed in your will. <sighs> Need a wreath this holiday season? The Horticulture Club has you covered. This week, the Handy Bunch will begin making these festive flowers just for you. Wreaths will be sold for $18. If you have any further questions, see Mrs. Tinder. On December 2nd of 1993, an excellent year I might add, the first servicing mission to the Hubble Space Telescope was conducted by the Space Shuttle Endeavor. This was Endeavor's fifth flight and lasted 11 days. During the expedition, the crew fixed the telescopes and installed upgraded equipment. This took the astronauts a total of five spacewalks, which is an all-time record. How does it feel to be the most inefficient his astronauts in history, guys? Well, guys, well, I've never had to do a sign-off without Brett. Feels good to be lead anchor, people. Good day, OJR. Good day. All right, wait. Come, come on, guys. We, I want him off. He's, he's dead. Let's go. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, he's heavy. He's heavy. Oh, God. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, he's heavy. All right, we got him? 